Welcome up to the Cal U Weather Center, everybody, for this week's edition of Weather on the Web. I'm student meteorologist Ryan Kaufman. Let's take a look at this week's weather headlines. Cold and windy conditions are in store for today. There is a chance for mixed precip later on in the week, but the big question is, is there a slight warm-up in store? Well, hold on, we'll have to look into that in a minute. But yesterday's almanac, 46 was the high in Pittsburgh and 23 for a low. That's not that far off from where we're supposed to be. This is today's averages of 40 and 24. We did pick up some rain and snow yesterday, mixing together for 35 hundredths of an inch of rain. And then our records for yesterday were 70 and negative 8. 1884 was when that record high was set. But notice also, our sunset today is at 6.01 p.m. We're finally into that 6 o'clock region. This will start to keep adding up, and that that'll adds up to more sunlight outside. Local temperatures, 19 right now in Pittsburgh, 18 in Wheeling, and 22 in Morgantown. But back here off the lake, 19 in uh, Cleveland and 18 in Canton. 24 hours ago, we were, we were a little bit cooler today. 13 degrees cooler and 16 degrees cooler in Canton. Back here into Johnstown, we are 21 degrees cooler today. And State College is coming in at 13 degrees cooler today. National look at everything. 12 degrees below zero right now in, in International Falls, 13 degrees in Chicago, and 32 in Memphis, but also 76 in Miami. 24 hours ago, we were cooler across the good portion of the region. One degree cooler in Chicago, four degrees cooler in Omaha, and seven degrees cooler in Memphis. Let's take a look at our national satellite and radar now. As you can see down here into Texas, moving into Oklahoma now, we do have that storm system that will be dumping on the Nebraska and Kansas region. 20 inches in Great Bend, Kansas is what we're predict predicting so far as the highest spot. Also down here into Louisiana and Arkansas and Mississippi, the Storm Prediction Center has alerted this area and put it under a slight risk for severe storms. Possibility of tornadoes do exist. But let's take a look closer into our region right now. We do have snow showers into the Ohio and Indiana region, but more importantly, we do have snow bands setting up coming across the lake and coming into the Pittsburgh region. You can see on our regional radar, we do have uh, snow coming off the lake right now. This is just going to keep training through the day until clouds do give way. And we will be, if you do get underneath one of these storms, there is the chance for whiteout conditions. So please be careful when you are out driving today. Futurecast on the national level, this is Wednesday today at 4 p.m. You can see this is our storm system, and I will put this into motion so you can see what I'm talking about. As we move through, the storm system does linger over the Great Bend, Kansas area and the Wichita, Kansas area, and this moves out by Thursday evening into Friday morning, but there is that chance. You can see that this, does want, this model wants to bring it down into Louisiana. A lot of the other models do bring it fully into Louisiana, which is where we get the severe weather from. Let's take a look at our regional future cast. This is Wednesday, today at 5 o'clock. Clear skies all the way across the region. A few lake effect snow showers will continue throughout the day. Thursday, things uh, do stay clear. Friday, rain starts to work into the region. But as I step out of the way, Saturday, we do have another storm system moving up into the New England area. This will be mostly snow, but some rain mixing in, so we will have to watch this up into this region again. Nonetheless, today, 26 degrees, windy conditions, 15 to 20 mile an hour winds, 30 mile an hour gusts at times, snow giving way to clouds, as I showed you on Futurecast. Tonight, 17, windy conditions do continue, partly cloudy overnight. Tomorrow, 33 degrees for high and mostly sunny conditions. As we look at our five-day CalCast, you can see Friday, we do have that mixing happening, changing over to all rain afterwards, 42 for a high, 35 overnight. And Saturday, that rain does start to move out of the area, it does give way to some peaks of sunshine, 46 for a high. And Sunday and Monday are the perfect days at 46 and 48 degrees. That's our warm-up. And thank you for joining me in the Cal U Weather Center for this week's edition of Weather on the Web. I am student meteorologist Ryan Kaufman.